What's up Transformer? This is Ben here and this is episode 73 of Charged News, your one-stop MP news shop. Before we start, please hit the like and share buttons, it really does help the channel. New releases! The Studio Cell Pumpkin Anime Colored Unicron Interpretation from Studio Cells is out. We also have a variety of the CDL RC mode KO of NICE. We have the ALT and the CAT. And here is a packaging insert product shot of the Advanced Toys FT16T. New pre-orders. The Rosen Toys RTO2 MP55 Nightbird Shadow KO is slated for a November 2022 release. Another repaint from Takara Tomi in the form of of MP53 plus B Burnout is slated for a March 2023 release together with MPM 10R Revenge of the Fallen paint scheme of Starscream. Pre-release updates. Here we have the Perfection series PS14R Regenesis Incursus box art and here is the entire Regenesis Assaultus. Bombus B got a preview sample of the upcoming Fans Toys FT52 RC and here is Aussie with other bots and Aussie in the alt mode. And we have some product shots of the upcoming Ocular Max Navigant. Here we can see some of the transforming articulation clues that is featured for the car. And it seems like a rather easy and intuitive transformation. And of course, here's the alt mode. Fans Hobby updated with more pics of their upcoming MB19 double agent. Here we have double agent in the Autobot mode, looking very nice with a big gun and here we have the makeup of the Decepticon beast in bot mode and of course we have the Decepticon beast itself in its original form it's looking very nice from different angles and due to the feedback from the fandom fans hobby is going to release two iterations of double agent one with the purple wing and the other with the original paint scheme from fans hobby and this is how the alt mode will be affected a fan revealed some test shot prototypes of the support Supposedly Takara Tomi MP Cliff Jumper with the MP Skids mold, and you can see that Takara Tomi is indeed designing this toy. And I think the only holdback is due to its licensing issue, perhaps. Here we have the accessories that will come with MP Cliff Jumper, and you can see another side-by-side -side shot with the painted prototype. A Japanese magazine, I think it's Figure King, showed the upcoming MP56 Trailbreaker and superimposing all the product images that were shared by Takara Tomi and we also have some transformation sequence from bot mode to the alt mode looks a bit like the fans toys transformation gimmick but with doors that open and engine bay it will also feature cartoon accurate bits here is the sketch of trailbreaker from the front and the side as well as a close-up sketch of its various faces and over on the Japanese internets, we have the Autobot and Decepticon coasters insignias that will be coupled with the upcoming MP57 Skyfire from the Takara Tomi Mall. And here are the two coasters. KFC Keith's Fantasy Club showed some product images of the upcoming Stodgy and we can see Stodgy in various angles with a chain, with a pistol, his wheels as a shield. It's basically the same mode as Phase 6A to L with interchangeable parts. And of course, here are what's inside the packaging. You got some side mirrors, studs, chains, and a pistol and wheels. And here is Dodgy in the alt mode. Mm -hmm. 
Of course, we also have the upcoming Sanford from Keeves Fantasy Club. You can see the mode is slightly different, but the transformation style will be the same. Sanford will have twin pistols. He's got wheels as shields. And he will have some studs, side mirrors, brake levers, and shoulder guards. And of course, here is Sanford in the alt mode from various different angles. New reveals. Well, not really new reveals, but the you can start emailing your retailers for the plastic shoulder replacement bits for your MX-10 Virtuous. Vectron Labs, even with all the scandal that's going on, is just showing people teasers of Metatron, Mega Robo, which should be their Omega Supreme, and he will show some more teasers of a more updated prototype, I guess, of their Rolo and Brachio. And of course, here are some other teasers of Rolo and Brachio and the Devastator vintage version that they wish to come up. Okay, Rosen Toys is going to KO the Takara Tomy MP55 Nightbird Shadow. As you can see, you will have all the same accessories and possibility, but perhaps with an upgraded chest, maybe not. But it will come with a new Rose RC head. Zeta Toys is going to release the EX10 Spacetron. This is just Toy World's version of. Of Astro Train, but now painted in shiny metallic paint. A closer look at the shuttle and the train. As promised, Takara Tomy revealed recolor of the MPM-10 Starscream in the Revenge of the Fallen Colors. It will feature a head that can move, articulate, and its backpack can store its various accessories like rapid fire machine gun. Claw like missile launches and a round sword. Here is the Revenge of the Fallen MPM Starscream in the, in the alt mode together with its accessories. A look from the front and the top. And of course here we have full nice background images of the tour. Enjoy! Takara Tomy also revealed a Diclone inspired recolor of the MP53 Skids Mall, and this time they're gonna call this fella Burnout. Yes, it's a retcon character, but it will feature the Diclone head sculpt and almost a full plethora of accessories. And here is the Honda City Turbo Jazz in its gorgeous black color with yellow racing stripes featuring doors, hoods, and trunk that open up. It will also feature a female sculpted Halo figurine that kind of looks like Carly. So here are its four weapons and its mini city scooter. Oh, and of course, here's Burnout in the classic background. So do enjoy.
So that is it for G1 Masterpiece news this time around. What are you excited for? Did any of you get the Pumpkin Studio Cell recolor? Have you started to get your notifications for the upcoming Fans Toys FT52 RC? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and share buttons and also smash the sub bell icons for more future videos. Again, this is Ben signing off and I'll see you on the flip side.